I'm James Will Be The PT, and this is my review slash comparison of the Zero Shoes Z Trail and the Bedrock Karen Pro. So these are both great sandals, but I think they serve different purposes. So in this video, you'll learn the benefits and the disadvantages to each of these sandals, and um, hopefully it'll help you determine which sandal might be right for you. So both of these sandals, I would say, are what I would call minimalist, and that they're thin and totally flat. So there's no elevated heel, no support, and they are relatively fat, flat. This is technically the Bedrock Karen Pro original version, so it doesn't actually have the support, okay? And this is the version one versus the version two. So this has a Velcro enclosure in the back, uh, whereas I think the new ones have this little hook loop um, in the back. So this is the version one, but it's very similar to the version two. Um, this is the Pro model, which has the Vibram Mega Grip. All right, and this is the Zero Shoes Z Trail sandal. All right, so let's let's talk about this sandal first, okay? Again, like the other sandal, there's no support, super flat, thin, flexible. All right, the shoe is, or excuse me, the sandal is very light. So when you put this on, it feels nice, light, and airy, and it's super comfortable. This nylon webbing here is just very smooth, comfortable. It's great. Um, it's pretty easy to put on and adjust. You can just adjust the heel right here, slip your foot right in, and then it just cinches down. So, and it is moves like right in here. So I like to keep it kind of nice and loose in the toe box here, toe box. And so it allows my toes to display, but it's just super comfortable, adjusts really nicely. Unlike a lot of Hirachi sandals out there, if you have experience wearing Hirachi sandals, they can be really um, kind of a pain to dial in, okay? I love throwing out quotation marks. And so um, by dialing in, it can be just kind of a pain. So this adjusts really nicely. You can wear it loosely, you can wear it with socks. You know, chicks dig guys with sandals and socks. So that's always a plus, um, but super comfortable uh, sandal. Um, but I have a couple dislikes. So this is called a trail sandal. And I have to say for the trail, it really doesn't perform that well. Um, and here's why. So the traction is just fair, okay? So I've definitely worn this down quite a bit, but this rubber traction here, it's just okay. And this foam, which is, makes it super light and super comfortable, on a wet rock, it does not do well. So, um, and the rubber itself here is just okay on a wet rock. So you think this might be like great for like something like a rafter or something like that, but when you're in um, on like wet rock, it doesn't really grip that well. The other thing is, for whatever reason, when there's water on this, the coefficient of friction really lessens to, you know, quite a bit. So my foot would just slide forward, all right? I can cinch this down pretty well, and this little loop right here will lock my ankle somewhat in place, but it slides around some. So I actually prefer this sandal for more like a casual sandal, all right? It's super comfortable, and I just... I wear this all the time in the summer. Um, I actually use it on runs as well, too. So if I just feel like wearing a sandal running, this is great. Um, but I don't really love it in the trail in the woods. So my go-to sandal for casual. Uh, for hiking, however, this sandal is much better, in my opinion. Um, so this, first off, has the Vibram Mega Grip sole. This stuff, I swear by Vibram Mega Grip. It really grips wet rocks extremely well, all right? So the performance is just awesome. All right. Um, it has like, you know, pretty decent traction right here. And this it's I've put, like I said, quite a few miles on these and it's really worn out quite nicely. Um, one little issue, it, it sort of attracts dirt and it stays in there. Um, but whatever, if you're wearing this on a trail, who really cares? Um, when my foot is wet in this, it, I still feel like it stays secure nicely. So it has like this thong right here, you know, and thongs never really bother me. I grew up listening to um, Cisco and the thong song. So a lot of people like hate like the thong, you know, between their toes, but the thong never really bothered me. And I, I'll thank Cisco for that. So um, anyway, moving on. Uh, but the nice thing about the thong is it really holds your uh, toe in place, okay, nicely. So if you're walking down a hill and your foot's a little wet, it just lock, locks it in right there. And also, too, they, I think they've got this really great, um, I don't know what you'd call that, the top surface of the sandal here. I can't, I guess, the, the sole? No, the sole's on the bottom. I don't know what you'd call that. But it's it's sort of got these little cracks and everything, and it allows your foot to breathe. And it just, I feel like my foot doesn't slide around nearly as much in this. Um, this is a Hirachi-style sandal. And as I mentioned previously, a lot of Hirachis, 
Like they're a real pain in the butt to like dial in, okay? But what's really smart about this sandal is it has three points that you can adjust. So number one here, okay? Number two, it's got these little like like um, hook and loop features. You can put, you know, have it here, here, or here. And then of course, it's got the Velcro on the back. So pretty much what you do is you figure out the right Velcro adjustment and the right hook adjustment, and then you can just put it on and off by just sliding this right here. You know, so here I can just, bam, cinch it down. Now it's really tight. If I wanna wear it kind of loose like a flip flop, now I got it like so, all right? Whereas if I put the Z-Trail on, I have to slip it in. And again, this shoe, this is just such a comfortable sandal. And it's definitely lighter than the Bedrocks. I can just cinch it down like that. So, and you can, I like it kind of loose. But again, when I walk down a hill, if my foot's wet, I can sort of creep out like that. So, um, not as great on the trail, but super comfortable. And in all honesty, I definitely wear this Sea Trail more than the Bedrocks. One of my issues with the Bedrocks is that I have a super wide foot and the sandal hardly supports me. So, you see here, if I really splay out my toes, I'm pretty much almost going over the sandal. So I wish this was a little bit wider. So if you have a super wide foot, um, the Bedrocks might not be for you. Um, another sh sandal you could check out would be like the Luna, excuse me, the Luna Oso Flacos. They're kind of a thin sandal, um, Harachi style. They don't have the same type of adjustment here, but they also have the Viber Mega Grip. Um, I'll probably get a pair of those at some point here in the near future and do a review on them. But uh, they look like a pretty um, great sandal and they're nice and wide. So, um, to help make your decision here. So this sandal works awesome on the trail. Like, it's indestructible. In fact, I went up what's technically rated the hardest trail in the White Mountains in New Hampshire. It's called Huntington Ravine um, in these sandals. People thought I was nuts, but I trusted the Viber Mega Grip so much and uh, they performed great. I just used toe socks um, just because, so I wouldn't blister. Um, and it worked, it worked really well. 2017 Huntington's Ravine. Show them where you're going. Bedrock sandals, car and toe with the Viber Mega Grip. Totally badass. Is this Sponsor going on? Me. Is this going on the website? Uh, maybe perfectingmovement.net. Oh dear. So performance-wise, this guy is great. Uh, Comfort-wise, this guy's better. So I think you're if you're looking for comfort and more casual, um, maybe doing a little bit of running on the road. I would go with the Z Trail. If you really want something to perform in like wet, rugged conditions, um, and you want it to be a sandal, I would check out the Bedrocks. All right, guys, I hope that helps. As always, if you found this video helpful, please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends, and don't be afraid to check out perfectingmovement.net uh, where you'll learn how to use your body as it's designed to be used, safe therapeutic exercise, so you stay nice, happy, and healthy. All right, keep moving, and thanks for watching.